now. And I, uh, <laughs> um, I just hope in that like three years time or so, whatever, whatever place is dumb enough to hire me is, I hope my bosses look as favorably upon me as, as, as my dads do. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of things that I took from my dad. Um, principally is my love for candy. I, uh, and it, it, my mom always gets on me because I'm always eating sweets and I get cavities real easy. And you just, you should have seen her face the last time I walked to doc, into Dr. Lee's office and she got the bill from the dentist. Um, <laughs> I, I, uh, my dad was the, was the greatest speech writer that I, that I ever met in my life. And I've had the opportunity to, to hear him speak, um, so, so eloquently on, on, on so many different topics over the course of the, the 21 years that I had the blessing of sharing with him. And I just remember at his hall of fame speech, I was, I was crying like a baby. Um, and I say all that to say that, you know, any chance of me preparing words for today was thrown out the window 21 years ago. But um, <laughs> there's a couple of funny things I want to share about my dad. Um, after basketball practices at Love It, and um, anybody in the building that's a Love It parent or, or that went to Love It can attest to this, I would be, my, my parents had this rotation schedule where my mom would pick me up from school some days and take me back to the house. My dad would pick me up to school from school some days. Um, if he was getting off work around the same time that I was getting out of practice. And uh, my dad, Kathy's right, my dad was never on time. He just, you know, if, if practice ended at 6.30, my dad would pick me up at 8.45. I <laughs> It's just, that's just the way he operated. Um, and, you know, I, I wish I had had the perspective when I was younger to, to understand why my dad was always late to pick me up. He wasn't, he wasn't late because, you know, he had just, it had just slipped his mind or something. He was, he was late because he was doing the important work of impacting people's lives around the globe. <laughs> And if I had if I had had the same perspective that I do now, um, when I was a teenager, I, I would have told him to take all the time that he needed. 